Hi and welcome to 90th percentiles DIY that is do it yourself coding videos. I am Veda and I am a coding instructor with 90th percentile. In these DIY videos we are going to make small games or write small programs using core coding concepts and you will see how easy and how much fun coding is. So let's get started. It so happened one day my family and I decided to play a board game only to discover we had misplaced our dice. And then I realized we can make our own virtual dice by coding. Doesn't it sound interesting? So in this video I am going to show you how you can build your own dice using Python as your programming language. So Python language is a simple language that you can learn. The keywords have familiarities with maths and English which makes it easy to read. The syntax used in Python are relatively easy and it is widely used for web development, software development and system scripting. It runs on an interpreter system which means that the codes will run or execute as soon as it is written. We also need an online translator for the codes. We are going to use a REPL.IT as our translator. So all you have to do is you can type REPL.IT on your browser and you can uh, make an account for yourself so that you can code. Let me show you how the platform looks. So this is REPL.IT. Of course, I have signed in with my account and then this is where you write your scripts or your codes and when you run it, the results show in this black space. Before we start the program um, or you write uh, the codes, let's see the various things that you actually need to uh, know before you start. So the aim of the project is to create a virtual dice. The language that we will be using is Python. The third is you should know the logic or code for the program, that is how you're going to write the codes. The last step is a run and debug. That is you are going to run the program in case you have any bugs or any uh, faults in your program, you're going to fix those bugs. Let's first understand the logic of making a dice. So a dice has six sides as we all know and every time you roll out a dice a random number from one to six has to show up. So we have to code for the virtual dice in such a way that we have to print any random number from 1 to 6. So Python as a language is built with modules. Import random is the Python module that we will pick so that it gives us the random numbers. Also we need a variable that will store this chosen random number so that we can print it further. The last step is to print the number on the screen. The most important concept that we will learn in this video is about variables. Now what are variables? Variables are just like containers in coding which will help us store values. The values can be a number, it can be a character, it can be a string. String is uh, just a name like coding, 90th percentile, uh, your name and a value of true or false. For example, when you go out shopping, say you have $50 in your wallet. So the variable money will be 50 over here and at the end of the day say you're left with $10 then this variable of 50 changes to 10. So your variable money will be equal to 10. Variables are also the values that are not constant in our program and they keep changing. Now let's move on to the code part. So you can visit REPL and then you can start to code. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import random like we said it's a module that will help us get the random numbers. So I'm going to write import random. This is the module that we're going to use and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to write a comment saying uh, generating dice number. Now comments are those which uh, don't get executed. It is just for the reference of the coder, uh, giving reference to what are the purpose or what are the codes you're going to do below the comment. So when you're actually running the program, these comments get, um, you know, they don't get executed. The compiler just ignores them. So I'm going to pick a variable called dice 
this is our variable and then I'm going to say random that is pick random and then I will say R A N D that is random you want an integer so 1 to 6 is an integer 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are integers so I'm going to write random int and I'm going to open the braces and put in the numbers between which you want to choose the number so the starting number is 1 and then you want to choose between 1 and 6 and then it's just one simple step after that we say print this variable called random so let's reiterate to what we've done the first step is to get the module for generating the random number the second step is you can just add a comment the third step is that you declare a variable called as dice and you give the numbers between 1 and 6 and then you print the variable which stores the value of the number that's chosen now let's run yes now when you run it says 2 and the other time you run it says 2 again so probably it's just picking up the same number so now it says 3 and 2 again so now 5 so as and when you run each time it picks up you know sometimes it picks up the same number but most of the time it picks up a different number so that's your virtual dice you've just made a virtual dice wasn't it interesting and there you go, you've just made a dice of your own using Python language. I really hope this video has been interesting and you have learned uh, the concepts of uh, variable and random number. If you wish to learn more concepts or enroll to our coding program, you can visit the website and get yourself uh, free classes. Thank you so much. It was fun.